Testing, testing, one, two, three. I've got nothing in my ear, though. I'm not sure. Nick, I've got nothing at all. Nothing in my ear. Test, test, nothing. Test, test, there I am. And this is it, hang on a sec, let me just, uh, okay, there we go, that's good, terrific. You can put me back down.
Good evening, hockey fans, and welcome to MC Media's coverage of the Valley High School Hockey League. Tonight's matchup, the host, Yarmouth Vikings, in gray and, and maroon, going from right to left against the Paramba Sharks in dark and light blue, going from left to right. Now, this is a, uh, we'll call it a home-and-home -home series because last week they played a very interesting game that Yarmouth won, uh, and they're coming right back here this week, this time Yarmouth, the home team, instead of Paramba. Uh, that game last week certainly had a lot of interesting things. As a result, there were a few suspensions. Um, so the Paramba Sharks uh, missing a few bodies, a couple due to injury. Andre Dantremont with an upper body injury and uh, Simon Dantremont, lower body. And suspensions, Gavin O'Connell, Yannick Cutro, and Spencer Surrett drew suspensions from that last game. And so uh, the Sharks a little short-staffed uh, compared to what they normally would. They have brought up uh, Alia Richardson uh, for this game. Vikings, meanwhile, are pretty much the full lineup that, uh, that they have, starting in net. Number 24, Miguel Surrett for Paramba, and for Yarmouth, number 31, Tyson Peters. And we're about to get going. Pev wins the draw, breaks it out. Dan tries to get it in to the line, and Yarmouth clears the zone. McVie can handle it, it comes back in, and uh, we have a quick whistle for an offside. Once again, we'd like to thank everyone for joining MC Media's coverage of uh, high school hockey here from the Mariner Center. My name's David Doucette, and thanks for joining us. Up off the board, Jarmuth clears the zone, knocked off the puck nicely, though, by DeViller. DeViller goes cross ice to Dayon. Throws a check. That's what the, the crowd noise was. And certainly a difference from last, last week. Last week we were at the last day of uh, not being able to have any spectators. Now we have some. So two zones here in the Mariner Center. Zone 1 and Zone 2. Each zone allowed to have 100 people. And the last I heard, there were only about 15 available set, uh, seats from those 200 uh, seats, so uh, actually nice. I'm sure that the hockey players are going to appreciate having a live crowd, uh, something that they didn't have since before Christmas. Face off, controlled by Peb, right in front, cleared away, dangerously from front of the net, thrown up forward by uh, LeBlanc. LeBlanc throws it in, but he throws it in from just on his side of the red line, and so it's going to come all the way back down. Some uh, quick whistles here early on, just 45 seconds in. And this face-off is going to come all the way back down and be to the left of goaltender Miguel Soret. Controlled by Paramba, Sonia up on the boards. Pinched in by Richardson, but he can't keep it in. McPhee trying to get back. Good work by Sonia to gather the puck. One on two, but Sonia fights for, through it, does very well, throws it in front, and that's going to be gathered up by Peter, by Peters and covered. Face off to the right of Peters. Yarmouth wins that draw behind the net. Stuck in the corner, going in there after it uh, is Boudreaux. Zach Richardson has it. Drops it off, gets a return pass, goes off of his leg. He carries some speed, chips it forward, and he's going to get there first. He's got McLeod in front. There's a pass just wide. A great opportunity, Richardson to McLeod, but McLeod couldn't quite capitalize. Good work out the brown, at the blue line by Brown. Keeps it in, but only momentarily. Coming back the other way. Paramba, good effort there by DeViller, but couldn't get all the way in. Breaking back out is McLeod. There's a lead pass to Richardson. Richardson goes to his backhand, takes a shot, steered aside by Surrett. Coming back the other way, that's Richardson, Aliyah Richardson, who I had mentioned earlier. That's going to go all the way down. And Aliyah gets welcomed into uh, the game. He's a grade nine student. And, uh, so certainly a, a young, uh, a younger player on the ice. And he got initiated with a big hit by Zach Richardson. 
Face off to the right of Surratt again. Sharks control it. Up on the board, Yarmouth goes back. He gets it. That's Tanner Nickerson who tries to get it in deep. Dayon gets in the way. Nickerson again. Both teams digging for it. Sharks clear the zone. Yarmouth gets it right back. That's Kenny. Taylor. Taylor with a shot that goes wide. Getting there first. Sean Dayon tries to go behind the net. Pass in front. Just out of reach of Yarmouth. Tried to get through it again. It's chipped up to the blue line and out. Come back the other way. It's, tra uh, it's Travis. Tries to get it out. Gets to, uh, hits a linesman and comes back in. Peb tags up. Flip pass. La, pretty weak on that one. Nickerson, Tanner Nickerson has to go back for it. McNichol rips it around the boards, and that's Taylor with it. Taylor with the lead pass just out of reach, and Peb will come back the other way. Good stick check there by Tanner Nickerson. DeViller. DeViller nicely passed. Here comes Peb. There's a shot. Just goes wide, and that was Chandler LeBlanc with a great opportunity. Let a good snapshot rip, but it went wide. Another shot steered aside easily by Peters. On the other board, Jared Sanford cuts, uh, chips it off the boards to McPhee. McPhee's going to chase it down but not get there before Wallace. Wallace behind his own net, stops, takes a look. Around the board to Sonia. Ethan Sonia loses it. There's a shot. Weak angle, just knocked down by Wallace again. Chip forward. Another shot. That goes off a Yarmouth skate. And that was uh, number 18, Daniel Kenny. Peb chips it forward to the neutral zone. Yarmouth throws it right back in. They'll have to tag up. They haven't tagged up completely yet, so that'll give Peb lots of opportunity. That lead pass not that accurate, and Yarmouth fires it right back in. Kenny throws it in deep. Nolan Sonier behind his own net, chases it down. Yarmouth took a player out. That could have easily been called interference as the Peb player had not touched it yet. Coming back the other way is DeViller. DeViller goes hard to his right, goes to his backhand, steers in front, there's an opportunity. And Ethan Sonia couldn't get anything on that shot, but he was in a great spot. Yarmouth clears the uh, zone, keeps it slow enough to not cause an icing and makes some changes. Pep makes some changes at the same time. Boudreau tries to come back in, chips it forward. Yarmouth throws it in deep. Surratt stops it behind his net. Breaking out, right up through the middle. That pass just goes a little in front of Kalen Sonia. Coming back the other way, Sean Dale. Dale round, it's going to be past Nolan Sonia. Instead, that's Richardson with it. Yarmouth comes back, opportunity from the slot, back pass, shot, couldn't get anything on that at all. And that was Richardson back deep, looking for a go and give and go. Go upstairs instead, and Sarek. Gets it down, pass in front, could not get there in time. Clements has it picked, and coming back the other way, Alir Richardson gets it in, takes a hard check. Clements rips it around the board. Yarmouth is going to clear the zone. Nice pass through the middle. Taylor chasing it in. Peb's going to get there first, back to the point to Richardson. Richardson with a sharp angle, goes behind the net, takes a look. He's got the point, goes in front instead. Peb there, multiple defense to break that up, and they'll go back the other way. Skating hard is Dontremont. Dontremont fires it towards the net. Big rebound, cleared away nicely by Brown. Back behind the net, Brown. Brown chips it up to Clements. Clements to McPhee. McPhee's going to gain the blue line. Big slap shot. Blocker save. Rebound. That one's just a little upstairs. And we've got a whistle. Nice extended bit of play back and forth there. 13.56 to go here in the first period. Our score remains 0-0. Some goaltender stats for you. Tyson Peters with a 3-3 three three record and a 2.47 goals against average. Miguel Dontremont, uh, Surratt, sorry, and I know I got this wrong last week because I saw the comments. A 5 and 1 record with a 3.38 goals against average. Those are our starting goaltenders. Back to the point. Travis keeps it in. Wallace, they on behind his own net. Drops it off. Lead pass just out, outside. Coming back the other way. Brown has it. Fires it in deep. No icing. Yarmouth has it. Pass in front. Picked off to the blue line and out. 
Brown's going to cross over and get to that first. Takes a look. Nice indirect pass. But McLeod wasn't going the right way and just put it right back to Brown and Yarmouth will retool. Fresh legs out there for Peb. Come back the other way. Good work by Travis to get around. Goes to the left. Backhand in front. Steered away by Surrett. Back to the point. Brown has it. No real time to shoot, so he just fired it into a corner. Pass in front. Flip right back into the corner by Surrett. One more time. There's a goal! It's the Yarmouth Vikings score the first goal of the game. And a nice pass from the corner. Passed right out front. And number 15, Tyler McLeod, able to put it in as Surrett could not laterally get over. you see here in the replay. Now Surrett had already banged it right back into the corner. There's the pass out in front and a one-timer by McLeod. A great shot. Gives Yarmouth the one nothing lead with 12.50 to go in the first period. Breaking in, Taylor. Slap shot, glove save, goes off of the glove into the corner. Back to the point, there's a shot. Hunter Muse with the uh, first assist on that, the one that made the nice assist into the, uh, into, the front, into the front. I'm not sure how there was a second assist there, but they gave him one. Going back the other way, Ryland Entremont has it. Goes up off the boards to LeBlanc. LeBlanc chips it forward, cross ice, cross ice to Sonia. Sonia's gonna chase it down. Fire it, but not quite get it through. Pass in front, picked off by Yarmouth. They'll chip it forward. Coming back the other way is Taylor. Taylor throws it in deep, gets taken off the play, and then goes in for a change. We have our first penalty, and that's going to be a high-sticking penalty on the Paramount Sharks. And I'm still waiting for somebody to... Actually, it wasn't a penalty. My bad. It was just a puck knocked down with a high stick. Yarmouth comes away with it. Great opportunity. Sass and score! Number eight, Dom Higby with goal number two for the Yarmouth Mariners. And another great cross-ice pass as that's twice that uh, Paramba has left a Yarmouth player unattended in front. And you see Higby all by himself putting it into an empty cage. Face off, controlled by the Sharks. LeBlanc, behind his own net. Up along the boards, looking for Higby. Higby taken out of the play hard by uh, Dayon. It's going to go right back in the other way. One more time for Higby, and he's taken out again. Back to the point. Dayon has it. Gets it across. Almost had it stripped right at the blue line. Hubbard takes a shot. There's an opportunity, and we've got a penalty. Both teams kind of pushing and shoving in front because the goaltender got pushed back. I think we're going to get a goaltender interference penalty. So before a shot was taken or any shot potentially went in, you'll see here on the replay, and that's DeViller in front. Shot comes in. There's a save. DeViller's kind of pushed, but then uh, stays on top of him. Doesn't really get out of the way until he's pushed out of the way, and that's where the goaltender interference comes in. So Jay DeViller, two minutes for goaltender interference. Yarmouth, power play opportunity with 11-14 to go here in the first period and a chance to extend their lead. Face off. Bit of a face off scrum, but Pep came away with it and fired it down the ice. Brown behind his own net, going to set things up for Yarmouth. Gets away from the first four checker, chips it up to Richardson. Richardson finds the puck, but then loses it right before the blue line. Coming back the other way is Travis. 
Travis with the wrist shot. Blocker save. Almost went under the blocker. Travis again behind the net now. Tries to chip it uh, around, but Wallace there instead. Wallace gets it in the corner to Dayon. Carson Dayon to the point, but not quite out. Held it nicely by Brown. One more attempt, though, and that one's going to go all the way down the ice. Lead pass by Peters. Gets it up to Richardson. Travis with it. Travis breaks to his right. Has some room. Gains the blue line. Gets around another two-on-one situation. Passes in front just out of the reach of the winger as he could not capitalize. Coming back the other way is Richardson again. Richardson behind the net. Still looking. Slides it in front. Looking for Taylor again. It was uh, Taylor that could not get that pass. Richardson grabs the puck. Helps out. Goes around. Taking a look again. Takes a quick shot. That one goes wide. On the other side is Travis. Travis behind the net. Sliding out. Nobody covering the point. That's McPhee with it. McPhee slides it in front. Coming in from the point is Travis. Travis with a shot. It stopped. Just cleared away just in time by Sean Dayon, who then finds it, fires it down the ice. Nine seconds to go in this power play. Peters is going to play it again. Once again up to Richardson. Richardson gains some speed, goes to his right, continues on his right, has some room, sharp angle, goes to the front of the net, and it's stopped by Surratt. Penalty is killed off now. That puck's knocked down. Yarmouth's going to get there first. McPhee tries to bang at it, can't get through the defense. Coming back the other way, DeViller has some room, backhand attempt. Tries the rebound, standing up tall as Peters to make both saves. Back to the point, there's another shot. Whoa, that goes off tra uh, Travis and just over the net. Back the other way, that's Taylor. Taylor cross ice to Brown. Brown has some room, he needs to change. He was on the entire power play, so he gets, makes center, uh, gets past center ice, fires it down, and makes the change. Ben LeBlanc. LeBlanc has it. Indirect pass, just a little in front of Clements. McLeod chasing around, but uh, Peb able to chip it forward. Sonia, Kalen Sonia can't quite reach that puck. Yarmouth's going to come back the other way. McLeod dangles in, uh, in some traffic and gets it to center ice before LeBlanc fires it all the way down. Wallace. Wallace clears the zone. And it's fired right back in by Richardson. Sonier coming back the other way. Goes to his right. Richardson takes him down. Pair of players in the corner. Puck finally out. Back to the point. There's a snapshot. Nice pad save as that was redirected in front. But Peters is able to get the pad down to make the stop. Back to the point again. That's Dayon. Dayon looking for room. Nice stick work there by Yarmouth to clear the zone. Coming back the other way, chip forward. That's McLeod. McLeod gets it up to McClay. McClay with a shot, and that's handled easily by Surrett. Seven seventeen to go here in the first period. Score, Yarmouth Vikings 2. Part of our Sharks, no score. Face off to the right of Surratt, controlled by Armuth. Clements, no shooting lane, just chips it into the corner. Sean Dayon is going to get there first. Chips it forward to Boudreaux. Boudreaux can't control it. He gets to the blue line, but not out. Redirected in front by number five, Gannon Duffy, but easily handled by Surratt, who covers it up with 7.02 to go here in the first period. Face off to Surrett's right again. McPhee wins it. Peb's going to jump in, though, and uh, grab that loose puck. Go down. I don't think there's any icing. Nope. That could have easily been played by Clemens, who decided not to. Yarmouth will clear the zone, though. It goes all the way back the other way. That's Ryland Donchema. Rips it around. It's going to get all the way around to Boudreaux. Boudreaux chips it forward. Yarmouth gets it at the red line. Once again, DeViller has some room, takes a shot, and that just goes wide. A great individual effort by Jay DeViller. 
Pass in front. That one goes offside of the net. Yarmouth trying to clear it out. They finally do. Hunter Muse. Behind the net to Brown. Brown. Gets it up to Duffy. Duffy didn't see it at first, but does finally see it. Chases it down. Wallace is going to get there first. Behind his own net. Worked up around to Boudreaux. Boudreaux taking off the puck. Backed up nicely, though, by Richardson. Richardson gets in deep. Brown's going to get there for Yarmouth. Take a look. Lead pass to McPhee. McPhee stops. Back to Brown. It's going to go all the way back. Clements rips it around, but not out. Yarmouth winger picks it up and clears the zone. Paramba now. Neutral zone work by both teams. That's Dale in a one-on-three situation going to his left. That's Carson Dale. Stops. Tries to get that pass over to Hubley, uh, Hubbard. Sorry. Yarmouth will find it, but not out. There's a shot from the point that just goes wide. Back in the corner. That's going to get to the blue line, and Yarmouth able to clear the zone. Harbor tries to fire it right back. Richardson doesn't get much on that. There's down with a shot. Glove saved by Peters, and that'll get a whistle with 5-10 to go here in the first. As they change some quick stats, Zach Richardson, 16 goals and 19 assists for 35 points as Yarmouth's leading uh, scorer. After that, we'd see who else, who are the big ones that we have here? Hunter Muse with 11 points. Luke Mc, uh, McClay with 15. JJ McPhee with 25. Ryder Travis with 14 points. We'll get to Paramba on our next break. There's a shot, another glove save. Very calm in net, Tyson Peters making that glove save, making it look easy. Face off, bit of a face off scrum. Yarmouth head control for a moment. Going in the corner is McNichol. McNichol and Hosonye. Breaks out, behind the net is uh, Zach Richardson. Richardson chips it up, gets it up to McClay. McClay gets it up to McLeod. McLeod stops, has McClay in front. There's a pass in front, sprawling to make that move, uh, break that up is Alir Richardson. Back to the point. Zach Richardson for Yarmouth, gets it in front. Sonier gets it to the point, and out, he is taken out. Hard on the boards by Luke McClay. They're both still tangled, there's a quick shot, saved by Sered, and that will get a whistle. 4.21 to go here in the first period. They're not keeping the shots on net. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. This one's not, so we... Uh, can't give you a, a, a total for those as, as it goes as the game goes along. Face off control by Paramba, Dantma. Up to Sonia, Sonia, Kalen Sonia. Wrist shot off of a stick into the mesh and another whistle. Face off will be to Peter's right, far side of the rink. Yarmouth wins. Tanner Nickerson wins that face off from Sonia. Ripped around the boards, looking from a cloud. Come back the other way. That's Sonia passes in front. Yarmouth picks it off, goes off the boards, chasing it down is Taylor. He's going to get there first, has a player with him. Takes a look, tries to slide it in front, just a little bit behind Higby. Back behind the net, that's Taylor. Quick shot towards the net, that stopped at the defense and then cleared up, off and out of the end. Ben LeBlanc has it, spins away, chip back again. That one goes right over LeBlanc, no icing. LeBlanc will find that. LeBlanc behind his own net. Both teams able to make changes. Off the board to Taylor. Wallace is going to pinch in, make a nice pinch. Pass in front, just out of the reach of DeViller. 
Back to the point. Dayon with the shot. That goes through a crowd. Saved by Peters. Both teams fighting for it in the, cor in the corner. Peb comes away with it. Bit of a wraparound shot there by Carson Dayon, but it goes wide. Yarmouth gets it out to Taylor. Taylor tries to get it by Wallace. Another good pinch. Five players in there. Referee wants them to move it. Wallace does finally come away with it. Takes a wrist shot. Blocker save. And into the mesh for a whistle with 2.35 to go. That one might have been over the net. Let's see. Paramba. Leading scorers for Paramba. Spencer Surrett, 17 points. Riley Hubbard, 10. 17 for Andre Dontremont. Oh, Yannick's in there somewhere too. Yannick with 22 points. Yannick Cutro. A few of those players that I mentioned not playing because of suspension. Certainly going to make a hard road. It'll have to be more of a team effort for Paramba in this game. Coming back is Sonier. Kalen Sonier, cross ice. He's going to get the return pass. Can't quite control. It's taken off the puck. Yarmouth gets it to the corner but not out. Good work by Sonier to keep it in. LeBlanc couldn't quite do much with it. Yarmouth will chip it forward. Skating down hard after it's Sanford. Sanford in the corner. Throws it towards the front of the net. And Hunter Muse could not connect. Coming back the other way now. Sanford leaves it for Richardson. Richardson chips it forward just a little too far. And Wallace will pick it up. Wallace goes cross ice. Peb gets it to the, to the center line. But Ethan Sonier gets picked, and Yarmouth comes back the other way. That's Richardson again. Richardson tries to get it around Wallace. This little bump can't quite uh, can get it afterwards, though, as Peb will control it in the corner. Connor Boudreau turns around, gets it to Ryland Donchmar. Donchmar up to Richardson. Alir Richardson. Richardson gets it again. Chips it forward, gets out. But Yarmouth gets the puck and fires it right back into the zone. One minute to go here in the first period. Peb fires it in deep. Richardson at the end of a shift. Has a little less gas right now. Brown throws it around. It's not going to come close to getting out. Ryland Donchma takes a shot, but that goes off his own player, Boudreaux. Back around the other side. Brown. It's muscled off the puck, but then finds it again. Wallace has it. There's a shot. Club save. Peters with 34.7 seconds to go in the first. Face off on the near side. McPhee and DeViller. McPhee chased out. Not because of McPhee, I think. Blind's been having fun throwing people out. Now they throw the puck down. There's a quick shot. Rebound, another save. Three by Kalen Sonia right there on the doorstep. But uh, Peters kept the pads down, were able to block off the rebound as well. So two big save by Peters right at the end of the first period. Trying to keep Paramba off the uh, board before the end. Those late goals, always great for momentum shifts. Richardson has it in skates. Finds it, chips it forward. Just out of the reach of Taylor. Fired right back the other way. 18 seconds to go. McNichol takes a look. It's blocked off. Pass in front, right through. The blue, and nobody can get their stick on it. Richardson goes deep. Long stretch pass just out of his reach. And with 4 point, well, 3.9 seconds, we've got a whistle. As a great opportunity right at the end of the period. That pass just a foot and a half out of Richardson's reach. Faceoff will come all the way back down to the Armouth end on the near side. McPhee wins it into the corner, which should just about do it for the period. And there's the horn. Couple shoves, not much. Everyone's just going away, and let's make sure they do, and they do. 
So, after two complete, or, or two, sorry, after one complete, I was looking at the score. After the first period, the Yarmouth Vikings two, the Paramba Sharks no score. I'm going to take a break during uh, the intermission while the Zamboni clears the ice. And I'll be back for the start of the second period. On behalf of all the volunteers at MC Media, we'd like to thank you for streaming our coverage of the Valley High School Hockey League. We'll see you at the start of the second period.
Welcome back, hockey fans, to MC Media's streaming coverage of the Valley High School Hockey League. Period two about to begin. Switching ends. Your arm will go from left to right, have, and uh, Paramba from right to left on your screen. Both uh, teams with a long change. You'll have to be cognizant of that. Yarmouth controls the faceoff. Racing back for it is Brown. Round to Travis. Travis tries to rip it around. It's not going to get too far. Good work there in the corner by Hubbard. Hubbard throws it in front. Taken down is Dayon. Thrown back into the corner. Brown's going to race around for it. Clean ice. That one uh, couldn't quite catch up to it. Good four checking by Paramba. Brown tries to go the other way. Back to Travis. Travis with an indirect pass, and it's picked off by DeViller. DeViller can't get the shot away, looks for the puck again, and can't quite get there. Yarmouth's going to chip it forward. They got an opportunity here. That's McPhee. McPhee slides it across out of the reach of Richardson. Getting there first, though, is going to be Ryland Donchema. Donchema with the lead pass to DeViller. He side steps a check, gains some momentum down the right side. One on three, there's a pass out in front, and that's broken up nicely by the Yarmouth defense. Richardson's not a trip down, and we're going to have a second power play opportunity for Yarmouth. Reaching for the puck is number four, Kalen Wallace, and he got Richardson right under the feet, and he dropped like a rock right in front of the referee. So two minutes for tripping, 18.59, so just one minute into the second period, another opportunity for Yarmouth to try to extend that lead. Nickerson taking the face off for Yarmouth. He loses it. Back to the point. LeBlanc has it. He stops, takes a look, goes cross ice. There's a shot. That one's going to get to the goaltender. Took around a little bit. Miguel Serret did find it, though. Jumped on top of it. Got the whistle. Yarmouth makes some changes. Face off one by Nickerson, back to the point. Thrown behind the net, that's gonna be the other reach of Muse. Good work though to find it again. Muse has it. Back to the point to Brown. Brown will go to the middle, looking for a shooting lane. Goes back the opposite way to Nickerson. Nickerson with the wrist shot, that goes off of an arm of Dontrema, and that one's gonna hurt. Back to the point, slap shot through a crowd. That one can't get by, rebound to both teams slapping at it, and it goes wide. Getting there first is Ethan Sonia, he finds the puck. Gets it up to the neutral zone where Travis knocks it down. Tries to come back the other way. Good forecheck, though, by Ethan Sonier, and he fires it in deep. Brown has it. Spins away from trouble. Gets it to, to the sideboard, but not all the way out. Good work by Travis to get it out. Travis gains the blue line. Spun out, though, by uh, Donchema. There's a back pass. McPhee trying to get that shot off. Can't quite get rid of it. Coming back the other way. Good hustle there by Paramba to force the goaltender to play it. It's going to get played all the way down the ice, and it's something you don't see all the time. Tyson Peters is going to ice the puck. 42 seconds to go here on this power play. Faceoff is going to come all the way back to the Yarmouth Viking end. LeBlanc behind his own net. Ben LeBlanc has it. Slides the pass forward. Gets it up to McPhee. McPhee gains the blue line. He's going to cut to the middle. He's got some room. There's a shot. That goes just off of the stick of number eight, Nolan Sonier, taking away a golden scoring opportunity for J.J. McPhee. Base off to Miguel Serres left. Controlled by Yarmouth, Richardson spins away from trouble, has some room, goes into the corner, goes behind the net, taking a look in front. Back to the point, slid around, getting back there is McPhee. McPhee can't control it, it's behind the peb net. Both teams fighting for it, lots of pushing and shoving. Referees, well, the referee on site let it go. The one in the neutral zone is gonna call a penalty. Holding. As the back referee had seen enough. Now let's see who's getting the holding penalty. 
And it is going to be number five, Sean Dayon. So with two seconds to go in this, uh, in the first power play, the Armouth Vikings for two seconds are going to have a five on three opportunity. Face off one by Paramba, fired down the ice and the five on three opportunity becomes an extended five on four for four minutes. Peters has it. Rips it around to McClay. McClay goes cross ice to Muse. Muse has some room, spins away from trouble. A good work there by number 44, Chandler LeBlanc to find that puck and fire it back down the other way. Brown behind his own net. Takes a look. Parambaugh just playing one person deep. Brown gains the blue line. Nice pass in front. There's a shot off of a body, and it go trickles to the right of the net. Parambaugh finds it, fires it down, getting there first. Yarmouth, Travis, off the glass, takes a bad bounce. Going to come right back to him. Gets a second opportunity as Yarmouth makes some changes. That one's just out of reach and fired back down. Skating hard as LeBlanc is going to force Peters to play the puck. LeBlanc almost touches that again. Good forechecking work by LeBlanc. Richardson has some skating room. Gets by two players. Gains the blue line. Goes hard to his right. Stops. Tries to avoid the referee. Does. But Parambaugh finds the puck and fires it down to good. Great penalty kill so far on this. And we've got a penalty from behind the play. Slashing. Number 27, Zach Richardson. Didn't like getting the puck taken away from him. I'll zoom. I was following it down the ice, so I didn't see it, but that is usually the case in any play from behind the scenes. Don't like to take those penalties that are nowhere near where the puck is. Four on four hockey for 38 seconds. Face off back in the Viking end. Face off one by Yarmouth, but controlled by Pyron Barr right at the point. There's a wrist shot. Nice save by Peters. Chip forward. Good work by Pyron Barr to get there first. Four on four. That's uh, Dontremont with it. Takes a shot. And uh, the Yarmouth player crashes and cra takes out. And that's Hunter Muse who takes out his goaltender, Peters, who kind of jumped out of it. Nets come off the mooring, face off, gets called. Face off on the far side. 15 seconds left in four on four before Paramba starts its first power play. Cross ice pass. Nice move to get away from four checker. Deep in the corner, pass in front, great opportunity. There's a shot and a save, half fan, but it almost trickled in anyways. Good work by Wallace to find it again. Paramba has a power play. Back to Wallace. Wallace has some room going to the front of the net, takes a shot, scores! Power play goal by number four, Kalen Wallace. Makes this a one goal game with 14.50 to go in the second period. I do a shout out to his parents, but I know they're both here. Here's the over the top view, and you can see Peters having to look around a, a screen, and that's probably why, he, and he's kind of pointing, saying I got nudged a little bit, but the nudge was equal parts his own defense and the power and ball forward. Not much that they can argue about there. You gotta fight your way through that, especially when they're outside your blue paint when that happens. Hubbard looking for it. Comes back, there's Dayon. They off the boards. Brown has it for Yarmouth. He'll clear it in. Yarmouth will have to tag up. They do. Peb has some room. Nice lead pass. Up to Sonia. Sonia loses it. Yarmouth again goes cross ice. Chip forward. Chasing it down. Nolan Sonia. Sonia behind his own nets. Takes a look. Over to Dayon. Dan goes up off the boards. Brown's going to get it center ice and try to fire it right back in. Sean Dale. Nice lead pass. Flip forward. That's a nice move by Hubbard. Hubbard chasing after it. Muscled off the puck. McClay comes in for Yarmouth. 
Hubbard gets it again, though. Not a lot of control. There's a deflection. There's a rebound, and that just goes wide. Good work in front by number 16, Jared Sanford, but he, sorry, 16, Jay DeViller, wrong team, but he couldn't get it in. Lots of bodies down in the corner. People getting up slowly. No whistle. Held in by Dayon. Brown rips it around. Looking for Taylor. Taylor goes back the other way. He's taken out by DeViller. Yarmouth finds the puck. Nice pinch in, though. Back to DeViller. DeViller passes, or sorry, the pass in front to DeViller, and it just gets knocked away. Parabas going to fire it back in. Yarmouth, some players, one player is getting off. Full team change for Paramba, and it's going to be a bad change, but McPhee has it. McPhee stops, takes a wrist shot, goes off of a leg into the corner. Boudreaux off the boards, way too hard for LeBlanc. It's going to go all the way down the ice, and with 12.45 to go here in the second period, we'll have an icing, and the faceoff will come all the way back in the Sharks' end. Face off, thrown into the, in behind the Peb net. Wallace tries to get it uh, around. Peb will get it out. Good work. There's a Chris shot by Kalen Sonia, and it goes off a leg. Back behind the net, stopped before it could get around. Richardson fires it up and out. Wallace skates hard to get it. Ref Linesman gets in the way, two-on-one opportunity. That pass behind Hunter Muse. He'll go in the corner to try to find it. Two-on-one for Pev. Good work there by Muse, but Yarmouth does come away with it. Back to the point, there's a shot by Sanford. Goal! <laughs> Number 16, Jared Sanford. Shot from the point, makes its way past Miguel Serret, and Yarmouth goes up 3-1 with 12.06 to go here in the second period. Here's the replay. You see a bit of a scrum there in the corner. Yarma does come away with it. Puck gets back to Sanford. Sanford pulls it towards the middle, looking for good open ice to shoot. There's a shot, and he just plain beat him. Well, they're going Travis, but in front of me, I thought it was 16, Jared Sanford. No, no, it was 76, not 16, my bad. Ryder Travis, don't go against the public uh, announcement. Yarmouth, LeBlanc behind his own net. There's Sanford. Sanford's family is going to be excited watching this, thinking that he scored a goal. He didn't. Sorry, Pam. Sorry, Mike. Coming back the other way is DeViller. DeViller has some room. Offside. Paramba is going to have to... And both teams have touched it. Okay, there we go. 16 blue hold. Number 16, Jay DeViller. In the box, I believe, for the second time with a holding penalty. So with 11.19 to go here in the second period, Yarmouth with an opportunity to extend their lead on the power play. Faceoff will come down on the Sharks' end on the far side. McPhee get, gathers the, uh, the puck after losing the faceoff, but Wallace finds it and fires it all the way down the ice. Brown. He's got lots of room. Still has it, gains the red line, fires it in, looking for a four check. Muse is going to go up behind the net and get it first. Nice move. Gets it to McPhee. Back across to Travis. Travis with a shot. That goes off of a leg and wide. Back to Brown at the other point. McPhee in the corner, takes a look. Nice saucer pass to Richardson. Richardson takes it off the stick. Skate, sorry. Spins away from trouble. Goes behind the net, protects the puck. Still taking a look. There's a shot. 
save and the rebound save. Hunter Muse sitting there trying to bang in that rebound. Couldn't get it. 106 remaining in this power play. Good offensive pressure, zone pressure by the Vikings in the first part of the power play. Face off once again to the right of Surratt. Controlled by Yarmouth to the point. Brown goes down deep with it. Cross ice pass. Richardson's pass was uh, defended well by Paramba. He gets it back again. Tries again. That one's going to get to the goaltender. Ripped around the boards to the point and held in nicely by Brown. That one hit right out of the air by Paramba. Great work by number 44. Chandler LeBlanc to break up that offensive pressure by the Vikings. LeBlanc chasing it down. Yarmouth will come away with it. That's Travis. Travis has it. Pass a little behind Taylor. Parambaugh's going to get it. Looking for some free ice. They find some and slowly get the puck in. Big head of steam is Richardson. Avoids a check. Parambaugh gets it to the point to Brown. Brown kills it in. Takes a look. He's going to go cross ice. One time opportunity. Just wide on the other side. There's a shot. And Surrett laterally comes across and makes the save. Good work by Surrett going laterally from one side of the net to the other as a long one-timer from the point goes wide but then comes ringing off the boards to the other side. You've got to be quick to get over there and he was. Face off one by Yarmouth. Five seconds to go in the power play. Ben LeBlanc. LeBlanc with a wrist shot through it. Oh and that off the iron. Parambaugh comes back the other way. That pass just out of the reach of number 18, Alir Richardson. Nine ten, remaining in the second period. A good power play kill by the Parambaugh Sharks. And here's that shot. And you see it literally just goes over top of the goaltender's shoulder and right squarely off the crossbar. Back to live action. Paramba was able to get the puck out of their blue line. But Yarmouth's going to come right back in with it as Taylor has it. Wrist shot, fans on it, finds the puck again, tries to siphon it in front, tries again, and it's uh, steered aside by Paramba. Richardson can't get it out. Held in by LeBlanc. LeBlanc with a wrist shot through a crowd late. It was either a pad or a blocker saved by Surrett. Either way, he was able to just keep that one out. Back to LeBlanc again. That shot directed towards the net. A deflection in front attempt by Nickerson. But he ended up just deflecting it wide. Back to the point. LeBlanc has some room. Another shot. This one's gloved and held on to by Miguel Surrett. And he'll allow his team to change with 8.20 to go here in the second period. And the score remains. The Yarmouth Vikings 3. The Parabas Sharks 1. On behalf of all the volunteers, we'd like to thank everyone for watching MC Media's streaming of high school hockey here at the Yarmouth Mariner Center. Base off, controlled by Paramba. Chip forward, LeBlanc has it. LeBlanc with the lead pass. Second pass to Boudreaux goes off the skates, and LeBlanc's going to fire it in deep. LeBlanc's going to get in there, chase it down, and get there first, chip it back behind the net. That's Sonier. Sonia has a pass in front. There it was on the other side. Paramba tried to slide it in, covered up by Peters. And this time it was Peters' turn to laterally get from one side of the net to the other and make the save. Face off, controlled by Paramba. Spinning away from trouble. His number 21, Connor Boudreaux, gets it behind the net. There's a pass in front. That goes off of Peter's stick and somehow slid under the stick and right into the blue. He's able to find it, though, and cover it up with the trapper, ending the play with 7.48 to go. Face off on the near side. Sonier wins it. Back to the point to Dayon. 
Dan doesn't have a shooting lane, just tries to slide it in deep. LeBlanc's going to file it into Sonier. Sonier slips away from trouble. Pass in front. Can't quite connect, though, with uh, Boudreau. Boudreau has the puck taken out hardly on the board, hard on the boards by Yarmouth. But Parambazic going to find that puck and get it in their own end. Cross ice. Weak pass. There's a stronger one, indirect into the neutral zone. Yarmouth's going to fire it right back in, and they'll go in and forecheck. Ripped around to LeBlanc. Chandler LeBlanc finds it. Can't find it, though. Back to the blue line. Held in nicely by Brown. Brown gets it into Muse. Muse looks in front just out of the reach of the forward. And Parambas is going to come back the other way. Chandler LeBlanc fires it in. Rips it around. He's going to chase it down. Going to get there first. His team changing. He doesn't have any help, so he just slides it behind the net. And Brown's there for Yarmouth. Carson Day on the corner now for Paramba. He's going to look out front. Taking a look, still circling. Cuts towards the middle, finally defended by Muse. Back to the point, Dontremont chips it in deep. Travis behind his own net. Brown weakly goes off the skate. Good work by Paramba, keeping some pressure on. Wallace pinches in, back to the point. This time held in by Sonia. Sonia gets the puck behind the arm of net. Going back the other way, could not sweep it around the other side. Big check by number 12, Ethan Sonia. Dantrema racing back behind, down to his own end. He'll flip it around to Ethan Sonia. Dantrema, Hubbard, rips it around. Indirect, goes to the point, held in nicely by Yarmouth. That's McNichol trying to get it in. Pass in front, steered aside nicely, though. Travis comes in to pinch. Does keep it in, but Paramba will come back out. That's Carson Dale making a nice move. There's a wrist shot, saving. Gathered in nicely by Tyson Peters, eliminating any rebound. We're not sure if they're still doing this, not that we have spectators, but just in case, I'm going to have a shout out to anybody watching us over across the street in Boston Pizza. Sociable. There's a shot from the point, steered aside by Peters. That one fires right across the front. Good effort here in the second period, in the middle section of the second period by the Parmba Sharks. Hubbard. That one goes up into the screen. We've got a whistle with 5.13 to go in the second period. Our score remains Yarmouth Vikings 3, Panama Sharks 1. And that will win off the Yarmouth player or directly from the Yarmouth stick. So the faceoff will come outside the blue line. Controlled by Paramba. That's LeBlanc. Chandler LeBlanc throws it in deep. Peters is going to stop it behind his own net. Leave it there for Richardson, who rips it around. Up to McLeod. McLeod chips forward. Dayon trying to pinch. Good work by Yarmouth, though. They've got numbers two on, two on one. Muse, the Muse can't quite get that, though. Takes another swing at it. But that pass just a little off. LeBlanc breaking out. Nice wide pass over to Sonia. Sonia goes deep, tried to slide it in front. Good defensive work there by the Vikings. And coming back the other way is Hunter Muse. That pass just a little too far in front of Tyler McLeod. McLeod finds it again and chips it in deep. Muse is going to get there first. Nope, Paramba is number 15. Hubbard gets there. Hubbard and Muse fighting for it. Muse trying to use the skates. Paramba comes out. Chandler LeBlanc, one on three. Makes a good move to get by two. Now it's one on one. Lost a little gas though. Good work in the corner by Dorian Clemens who is taken out by by Hubbard. Yarmouth breaking out the other way. That's Muse has it. Muse with a weak angle shot. Glove, a blocker save. So Red had to look around. Not sure he knew exactly where that rebound was going, but he did keep it out of the net. Held in at the line just by number 17, Dorian Clements. Richardson fires it in deep. Wallace pivots away from trouble. Still has it. Gets away from another. One on three. Gains the blue line. Gets taken down. And I'm looking for either official. Nope. No penalty. 
Wallace gets up, goes after it again. It's going to come all the way around. Sonier fires it in deep. Now Yarmouth has it. And they'll go the other way. Clements. Sanford. Sanford loses it. He'll get second opportunity. Sonier looking to pinch in. Sonier's going to have it. Has it in the slot. There's a shot. Nice save by Tyson Peters. Able to get that arm up and control the rebound to gain a whistle. Back to the point. Ryland Donchmo with a shot. That one goes wide. Good work by Yarmouth on the half board to pick off that pass. They've got numbers two on one. That's McPhee. McPhee with an opportunity. There's a shot. And iron again for the Vikings. Paramba with a nice counter rush. DeViller in the slot. There's a shot. Good work by Yarmouth to block that. Day off from the point. That one goes off a little long, and that one stung. Ryland Donchema slides it, but he's not going to have much on it. Yarmouth did not realize it, but uh, they actually had a two-on-one opportunity as McPhee was over on the other side, but uh, the Yarmouth forward not realizing it and just whipped it in blindly. Yarmouth breaking out of their own end. They're going to get it to the blue line, but not out. Fired right back in by Dontremont. Boudreau in the corner. He's taken out hard by McNichol. Boudreau down. He's up. That's going to get out. Late in the period, the ice is a little more choppy. It's not going to make it all the way down. No icing. As the net comes off, as uh, Wallace tries to make a quick move to avoid a forechecker, made for a tricky play in front of his own net through his own uh, goal crease and got knocked off balance a little bit and knocked the net off. And here you're getting a view of what two zones with 100 people in each zone. Here I am waving in blue. Here, that's me. Uh, and as we keep going, you'll see the other side. Play back in the peb end. Ripped around the other way, going there first to Sonia. Yarmouth's going to keep that in. Sonia with the second attempt. Third attempt gets at the blue line. Not out, and now finally out. Good back check. Kenny gets it, throws it in deep. Good work by Kenny. Wallace behind his own net. Able to make a nice pass to get away from trouble. Gets it up to Boudreaux. Boudreaux chips it forward, but a little too far, and Wallace is going to have to start again. Off the boards to Carson Dayon. Dayon tries to get around. Yarmouth with a great counter here. Higby. Higby passes it in front and just out of the reach of Kenny. Back to the point. Chipped out of the way, though, to the blue line and now out. One minute to go here in the second period. Lead pass. It's picked off by Carson. Dayon. Dayon with it. Sharp angle. Tries the backhand pass in front, but it's picked off by LeBlanc. LeBlanc chips it forward to Higby. Higby chips it forward, chases it down, has an opportunity. There's a wrist shot into the body of Miguel Surrett as he gathers it in for a whistle with 41.5 seconds to go in the second period. Face off on the far side of the ice. Miguel Surrett's right. Face off controlled by Paramba. A yarn with some good work to gain control. Pass in front goes off of a stick, chasing it down the other way is Hunter Muse. We call his name a lot. He's had a really good game for Yarmouth so far in the first two periods. 25 seconds back to the point. Travis with a shot. That goes wide. Going the other way. Back to Muse again. Muse pass in front. One timer just goes wide. Parabas going to find it. They're taking a look. Going to go cross ice. Lead pass out of the reach between both people and we, both players and both teams. And it's going to go all the way down the ice with 6.9 seconds for another icing. Parabas had one too many players on, so he'll get one off. 6.9 seconds. 
Really don't want to give up a goal here, so winning the faceoff important for Paramba. Yarmouk gets control, pass in front. Richardson tries to slide it over. It comes back and he reaches for it. And in a mere 3.3 seconds, Yarmouth almost got another goal. Face off controlled by Pep. They've got it in the corner. They take a look, fire it down the ice. And that's just enough to end the period. Couple of players just making sure that nothing's really happening here. Just yeah, the there isn't. So at the end of two complete, we have the Yarmouth Vikings three, the Paramba Sharks one. On behalf of all the volunteers at MC Media, we'd like to thank you for following our streaming coverage of the Valley High School Hockey League. I'm going to take this opportunity while the ice is being cleaned to take a break, and I'll be here with the play by play at the start of the third period. Thanks for watching.
Welcome back, hockey fans, to MC Media's coverage of the Valley High School Hockey League. Third period about to begin. We're a little bit delayed as uh, the linesmen were doing some ice maintenance. Seems like there was a little chip in the uh, Paramba end just inside the blue line. So they got the water bottle from the Fed bench and got to their skates in some snow and were able to fix things up. We got five on five hockey to begin this. Hasn't really been a penalty riddled game. And yet, that's, uh, I wasn't sure if they were going to call that going off somebody's glove on the Yarmouth bench, but I think it was just a, a straight icing. So 10 seconds in, we got a, an early whistle. Both goaltenders have been playing very well. Surrett for Paramba, Peters for Yarmouth. 3-1, low scoring game. Yarmouth gets control. Lead pass to Richardson, slid in nicely. Richardson heads McPhee. Slid across, nice, broken up nicely by Parham, by able to take away that, as it was Wallace, who got that stick in front there. Yarmouth back in their own end. Parham steals that pass, slipping away, looking in front, no room to pass. LeBlanc, Chandler LeBlanc tries to fire towards the net, it goes off the arm of the player, second attempt. Parham can't find the puck, can't get that shot towards, and Yarmouth will get the puck out. Richardson tries to go under Wallace's skate. Does there, takes a quick shot, saved by uh, Surrett. Second shot, that one hits Richardson, and that one stung. Paramba breaks out of their own end. Chip forward. Chipped in by LeBlanc, who then takes a heavy hit. He'll go in and make, uh, make a change. Complete line change for Paramba. One last nice hit behind the net, though. Coming back the other way, we've got McLeod. Breaking back out is Dayon. Dayon trying to find his winger. Some neutral zone play as it goes back and forth. This time it's LeBlanc for Yarmouth. Ben LeBlanc throws it in deep. Stopped by Surrett. Surrett then goes back to kind of play it. There's a pass in front and goal! Miguel Surrett gets caught behind his own net. And number nine, Tanner Nickerson, grabs the puck and fires it into the empty cage. Here you see the replay is a bit of confusion between Surrett and his defense and who was going to play it. Surrett started to play it, went back, went back behind the net. Yarmouth got it, threw it out in front, and Nickerson was able to put it in. I know he's here, but I know he'll be watching it later, so I'm going to have the big shout-out to Tanner's father, Randy. Randy and I went to school together because, yes, we are both that old. Coming back the other way, Parambat, good move by... Good move by LeBlanc. He's got to be careful there. Could have got a high stick penalty as he was trying to fight through the check. Pass to the point. Nice move to get away. There's a quick shot. And there's a goal. Hard shot from the point. Save made by Peters, but Jay DeViller able to gather that rebound that bounced up over top of Peters, and he put it into the empty cage. So just as quickly as Yarmouth made it a three-goal lead, Parambach came back to bring it back to two. And you see, here's the shot that comes to the point. You're not going to see the shot, but the save is made. Boom, there it is, up over him. And honestly, I'm not sure DeViller hit that before it got in. And he did not. The shot from the point, and that's Wallace's second goal. Yarmouth coming back. Paramba loses track of the puck at the blue line, coming into Sanford. Sanford trying to get a shot away. Goes into the net, pushes the goaltender back, which pushes the net back. And that will get the face, uh, that will uh, draw the whistle. Here you see the replay coming in, trying to make that move. Gets taken off the puck. Jams into the goaltender. It's one of those things, yeah, he pushing me from behind, and I'm not really going to try to avoid you. Rip behind the net. Dayon. Chip forward, two-on-one opportunity here for Paramba. Boudreau has it. Boudreau with room, the shot. And I think that caught iron as well. 
If not, it was just over the crossbar. Thought it heard a ting. Skating hard the other way is Richardson. He can't get it. Yarmouth gets it back, gets it in front. There's a shot and score! And a great counter, number 15, Tyler McLeod, able to clean up the puck in front of the Parambon net, bring it to his left side, find the open net, and throw it in there for Yarmouth's fifth goal. Here we have the replay. And you'll see McLeod gather that puck up and just take it away from where Surrett was, and then at that point, Surrett had no, ch no chance. Isaac Richardson hit hard off the board. Parambaugh coming back the other way. Wallace makes a nice stop. Throws it in to Peters. Peters gloves it. Gives it up to Isaac Richardson. Richardson throws it around to Muse. Muse stops it. Kind of goes back the other way. Yarmouth will reset behind their own net. Taking a look. McLeod, McLeod to Richardson, Richardson with speed, has some room, sharp angle, takes a shot. That one goes, I believe Surratt made a save as it veered off. Coming in the other way, there's a shot. That one goes off a stick in high. Yarmouth buzzing around the par and bud zone right now. Good work by Clements. Par and is going to come away with it. They've got some numbers. Nice lead pass over to LeBlanc. LeBlanc trying to gain the, the uh, corner. Can't quite get there, takes a sharp angle shot, and Peter's able to glove that easily and get the whistle with 60 no two to go in the third. Face off, controlled by Paramba. Shot goes off the skate into the side. Paramba finds it again. Good checking there by Yarmouth. Skating down is McLeod. McLeod's not going to get it before Dayon. Sean Dayon goes up. Not out, though. Kept in. McPhee with it. There's a shot. It goes off a stick. Surrett looking for it. Can't find it. Back to the point. Slap shot off of a stick. McPhee's going to get it. He'll wrap around. Blocker save. It comes the other way. McPhee's going to go after it again. Takes out the peb player. Lead pass. LeBlanc. LeBlanc needs to change, so he just fires it towards the net. Big rebound. There's a re and another shot and save. That one's thrown behind. Second opportunity was Kalen Sonier. McClay with it. Has some trouble. Gets it to the red line. Coming right back the other way is the Sharks. Sharks gain the blue line. Taken out of the play. Dayon has it. Dayon taken off the puck. McLeod. And Dayon is able to fire it right back in, and uh, he'll go and go for a change. Cameron Brown, lead pass to McPhee. McPhee spins away from trouble, goes back into his own end. Might go back to Brown. Tries to ward off the forecheck. Does get it out. Higby with it. Higby back to McPhee. McPhee has Higby in front. McPhee slides it in front, and there goes the defenseman into the net, and it comes off easily for the whistle. 14.30 to go here in the third period. Yarmouth Vikings 5, Paramba Sharks 2. I'd like to thank on behalf of all the volunteers, thank you for joining MC Media's streaming coverage of the Valley High School Hockey League. Coming to you from, oh, hi there. Coming to you from the Yarmouth Mariner Center. And that nice blurry version is just as good a, that, a, of me that you need. <laughs> Face off, controlled by Paramba. Gontremont behind his own net. Paramba gets it up to center. Yarmouth picks it off though and goes back the other way, firing it in deep. Wallace, he'll try again for the Sharks. He stops. Gets it over to Richardson. Richardson with a nice pass up to, to Gontremont. Check that, that's Boudreaux. Boudreaux with a shot, Fire, tries to chase down the rebound. Richardson behind the net, trying to fight for it. Has it. Taking a look, goes back to the point to Donchama. Donchama with nothing to do, so he just fires it right back to Richardson. This one flipped back into the other corner. Connor Boudreaux's going to try to fight for it there, but Travis is going to get there first. Get it to the blue line and out. 
Wallace, nice indirect pass off the boards. Countering. That's Richardson again. He'll just fire it in because he needs to change. McNichol reverses. Goes the other way. Nice lead pass to Zach Richardson. Richardson goes cross ice. Shot from a sharp angle by Yarmouth and I'm not sure I know who that is. Kenny. Haven't called his name a whole lot. Daniel Kenny, number 18. Want to make sure I had a shout out for you there, Kenny. Face off on the far side, one by Paramba. Sean Dale. Gets it around the boards. Both teams fighting for it. Richardson comes around the other way. Both teams fighting for it. Breaking in from the point with a shot. That one just uh, is steered aside nicely. Once again comes out. Richardson with the shot. Off a of Pep player. He's going to dig for it. Coming back the other way is Nolan Sonier. Tries to spin away from trouble. Gets away from one four checker. Slides it up to Ethan Sonier. Yarmouth with some good forechecking work here in the midsection of the third period. Yarmouth still has it. Back to the point. Isaac Richardson, there's a shot. That one goes wide. And tired of waiting to get control of the puck, Sean Dayon grabs it, fires it down the ice so his team can make a change at the 12-29 mark of the third period. Yes, take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's actually people in the stands. Welcome back to hockey in Nova Scotia. You can't say that too many other places in Canada, but here in Nova Scotia, you can. Base off controlled by Yarmouth. Weak angle shot, handled easily by Surrett. Yarmouth digging for it, that's McLeod. Gets over to McPhee, McPhee has it chipped away from him before he could get the shot away. Clements, back to McPhee. McPhee has the puck taken away from him. Good work at the point, though, by McLeod as he takes it back. But back and forth we go, and now it's Peb that has it. Check it. Parham is going to have to chase this one right back to their own end. That one goes high off the glass. Clements is going to pinch in. Keeps it in, steered towards Surratt. Surratt's going to grab that puck, cover it up, and let his team make another change. As you can see, everyone wearing masks as COVID guidelines have to be respected as we're inside the Mariner Center. Parambaugh, nice lead pass up to Sonia. Sonia trying to chase it down, well defended by Yarmouth. Puck bouncing in the neutral zone. Yarmouth will get it back to Clements and start again. He'll go D to D. Back to Clements. Chips it forward. Clements again. Up to his winger, it's chipped forward. It's not gonna go too far though. No icing. Back to the blue line. Parambaugh has some numbers, three on two, chip forward. That's Kalen Sonia, he'll stop, try to make a pass, sliding it over to Boudreau. Boudreau behind the net, pass in front. Could not get that shot away. Dayon fires it in behind. Just out of the reach of Connor Boudreau. Ill-advised pass behind the net went off the went off the net, and Paramba was able to forecheck, but nothing comes of it. Sean Dayon get back to his defensive partner. Wallace. Wallace clears the puck up. Skating hard the other way. Chipping forward is Clements. Doesn't get too far, though, as it's well defended by the Sharks. DeViller has the puck. Gets away from two people. There's a shot. Goes low stick side. Just wide. Here on the comes away with it. Loses it right in front, but there to help out. Defenseman Dorian Clements. Richardson's going to fire that right in. Surratt's going to play that over to Sonia. Nolan Sonia behind his own net. Lead pass. That's DeViller. Breaks in. Changes direction of the uh, shot and then takes that shot and gets checked. Good work by Chandler LeBlanc trying to fight for that puck.
Both teams fighting for it at the sideboard. That's into the rafters. Doesn't touch anything, though. So there's going to be no whistle. If it doesn't touch anything, it's the puck is live. Wallace with the nice stretch pass. Entering the zone. And that's Hubbard. Hubbard tries to slide away from a check and get it in deep to Sonier. Sonier behind his own net. Or sorry, behind the Yarmouth net. Trying to look for some help. Referee's going to want them to move that puck. And there it is, finally moved. Sonier pinches in. There's a shot by uh, Kalen Sonier that time, but it doesn't make its way through. Finley Taylor with it. He goes off the boards, he's going to get all the way down the ice to Wallace. Wallace able to avoid the forecheck. He gets picked by McPhee. McPhee goes to the middle, and he gets picked by Dayon. Coming back the other way, that's Dayon. Carson Dayon goes hard to his left, trying to gain some room, goes to the backhand. Goes up high, big save by Peters. Back to the point. Fake shot. Slides around, and that's Hubbard. Hubbard knocked off, and we've got a penalty. And it is a hooking penalty on number 94, J.J. McPhee. The stick gets slammed. So with 8.32 to go here in the third period, a great opportunity for Paramba on the power play to try to get this lead from 3-2. to two. They get the face off. Dayon has it at the point. Wrist shot through a crowd. Peters finds it. Sonier to Chandler LeBlanc. LeBlanc stops. Pass in front. Peters is going to get there, but that's uh, cleared away. Sean Dayon behind his own net will start things up for Paramba again. Going down the far side. Has some room. Chips it in. Looking for some help from Ethan Sonier. Pass in front. There's an opportunity wide. Sonier again. He'll chip it back to the point to Dontremont. There's a shot. And that one doesn't get through everybody. Chip forward. Coming back the other way is Zach Richardson. Sharp angle. Takes a shot. Saved by Surrett. Richardson chases it down. Good. Certainly good penalty killing by his part. With a scoring opportunity to him lagging the puck in the corner is allowing... And we've got head contact penalty. Two minutes. To number five, Sean Dale. So, so uh, four-minute penalty. Sorry, four minute. I thought I put up two. Four minutes. And it usually is four minutes. And that is going to make it very difficult for Paramba. But we've got four on four play now. That one's offside. As Ryland Donchamont could not hold up the line as his forward partner was making a move at the blue line. So as I was saying, 49 seconds of four on four hockey. And it's during that four on four hockey that I think Paramba is going to really have to push it. Because after that, they'll be killing the equivalent of uh, one and a half penalties. And at the end of that, there won't be much time left in the game. Kalen Sonier brings it in. Slides along the blue line. Back to the point. Ryland Donchman with a shot. Nice save by Peters. Donchman's going to get it again. Looking for a shooting lane. Through a crowd. Blocker save again by Peters. Once again in the corner to Sonier. Sonia fighting for it, needs some help. It's going to get it back to Donchamont. There's a one-timer, third blocker save. Carson Dayon, Carson Dayon behind the net, gets it. Yarmouth finds it. Brown controls the puck, slows it down, and he'll start the break for Yarmouth. Eight more seconds of four-on-four -four hockey. Bringing it up is Tanner Nickerson. He'll lose control, and coming back the other way is Dayon. Lead pass. Travis has it. Travis is going to wait now. Yarm is going to make some changes, and now they have a power play for two minutes and 51 seconds. Brown has some ice. Chips it forward, tries to get it back to the point. Yarmouth does keep it in. Right in front, that's Richardson. Back to McPhee. McPhee winding up on a rolling puck, and it goes wide. 
Travis at the other point, fires it in deep. Richardson behind the net, spins away from trouble. Doing a good job trying to protect the puck. Stops at the half board, goes the other way. Takes a look. McPhee in support, chips it back to Richardson. Richardson looking down, didn't get hit. Still looking for it, now gets muscled a little bit. It gets ripped around the dasher all the way around, just out of the reach of uh, Travis, and he'll skate down to get it, and Yarmouth will make some changes. 2.02 in this power play opportunity for the Vikings, trying to put the game out of reach. Richardson gains the blue line, chips it forward, and that just out of the reach, and uh, Miguel Serret able to find that puck, gets the paddle down, and able to put the trapper on for a whistle with 1.51 to go in this power play. 5.24 in the third period. Yarmouth Vikings 5, Parmba Sharks 2. Face-off controlled by Yarmouth, back to the point. Into Richardson. Richardson going to the middle, there's a shot off of a leg. Gathering on the other side is Isaac Richardson. He takes a shot and it goes off of a body. Pep looking for it. Looking for that. And a big check. And a big checking penalty. Boarding penalty. And number 27, Zach Richardson, going into the box, taking the worst of two ends of that, as he's the one that gets the penalty for boarding, and I believe he's the one that came out on the worst end of the check he was trying to throw. So for one minute and 31 seconds, we're back to four-on-four four hockey. Face off down in the Armouth end. And I believe we have a timeout. And if we have one, it's likely for the Parmbush. Nope, timeout for the Yarmouth Vikings. So I'll take this opportunity while the Jeopardy music plays to once again, on behalf of all the volunteers, that we have behind the scenes and myself, David Duceppe, for thanking everyone for joining MC Media's streaming coverage of the Valley High School Hockey League, coming to you from the Yarmouth Mariner Center in Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. Certainly has been a, a great game so far, 5-2 take this, uh, uh, I called the game earlier, uh, sorry not earlier, it was last week between these two teams and we were off the air but we really noticed that the Yarmouth Vikings had really celebrated I mean it, it wasn't over the board but they weren't putting in it, they weren't uh, being disrespectful, they were celebrating amongst themselves and I found out later the reason was it was the first time in five years they'd actually beaten Paramba so uh, Yarmouth really looking to try to, to win two in the same season and uh, I'm not sure how far back we'd have to go for that one. Yarmouth behind their own net. As I said, four on four hockey. Yarmouth to the blue line. Coming in, good move by McPhee. McPhee gets around another one, but then loses control. Chases it down. Back to the point. Isaac Richardson fires it in. And it goes wide. Parambao looking for it. They're going to find it. They are there first. McPhee takes him out. Wallace gets it behind the net to Ryland Donchema. Four and four, so you can't just chip it uh, down the ice. Good work by DeViller to avoid a check. He's got some room now. DeViller goes to his backhand. Good defensive work by Ben LeBlanc. LeBlanc down. Some of the Armouth faithful think there should be a penalty. None called. DeViller has the puck again, slides it towards the front of the net. McPhee's going to break that up. McPhee has Sanford with him. McPhee gains the blue line, chips it forward. Wallace takes him off the puck. McPhee still does have it, though. Puck behind McPhee. A little bit of help there from Carson Day. He's going to get it to the point. That's Brown. Brown with the wrist shot. Redirected, and there's a rebound, and it's in! 94, J.J. McPhee redirected the puck, picked up the rebound, to the, put it to his backhand, and fired it up high for Yarmouth's sixth goal. And I think it was a power play goal as I'm looking at the clock. Sorry, short-handed goal. And here you'll see the puck was uh, shot from the point from Brown. 
There's the redirect. Gee, just that save made by uh, Surrett, but Surrett looking all around, could not find the puck, and McPhee able to throw it into the net. So it was indeed uh, right on the end of four on four play, but it might officially be a shorthanded goal. Sonier coming back for Parmabot. It's going to come right back to Peters, who covers it down. So I think officially, as I'm saying, for J.J. McPhee, it's going to be a shorthanded goal on the scoreboard. 3.26 to go here in the third period. Trying to jam that in against Peters. Neck comes off. Puck gets fired and it goes into Peters. Whistle did not blow. Seventy-six, Ryder Travis. And others. Nobody enjoys it when you shoot a puck after the whistle. In that case, the shot was not after the whistle. Peters flexing his leg a little bit. I think he's going to be fine. Face off outside the blue line. Parmbot getting control, firing it in. Brown has it, looks for some open ice, gets it to the point but not out, and fired right back in by Dontremont. Back behind the net. Ripped around the boards and out. Going hard the other way is Richardson. Richardson with a sharp angle shot that goes wide. Back the other way to uh, Aaliyah Richardson. This time it's Zach Richardson. We got Zach and Isaac Richardson for Yarmouth and Aaliyah for Paramba. Cameron Brown chips it forward. Gets it up to Taylor. Taylor fires it in. Two and a half minutes to go here in the game. Richardson passes it in front. Paramba there to break the play up. Boudreau has it. Boudreaux looking for Sonia just out of Kalen's reach. That goes off the glass. Yarmouth going to look to just clog up this neutral zone right now. Coming back the other way is Chandler. LeBlanc, he goes behind his own net. Chasing it down is Nolan Sonia. End of the game, and the short bench for Paramba really seemed to be evident here in the second half of the third period. A good push by the Sharks, especially in the middle section of the second period where they gained a little bit of control. But I think losing just a little bit of legs. Here comes Richardson back the other way. By the time he gets it down, it's in front. There's a shot, and Surrett slides across and able to take away a great scoring opportunity from Daniel, Daniel Kenny. Coming back the other way, Boudreau. Connor Boudreau goes wide, tries to slide it in front. Played by Zach Richardson. Takes it off right along the dasher. It's going to go all the way to the blue line, but held in by Paramba. 124 to go in the game. Paramba trying to break in. Boudreaux, a lot of work to get it behind the net. There's a pass in front. Steered right back into the corner by the Aramith D. That's not the D. That was uh, Richardson coming from the center position, helping out his D. He's going to gain that pass. He's got some speed. He's going to go by Dayan. He's got some room. There's a shot, and it goes wide. McPhee with another shot. That one gets hits off a stick and goes into the corner. McPhee, McPhee chops at it, tries to get it to Richardson. Ripped around the corner. LeBlanc's going to get there for par on bomb breakout. Less than a minute. He slides that to Sonia. Sonia with some room, tries to get in front. Goes to Peters, and Peters will cover it up with 14.1 seconds to go in the game. Face off on the far side of the ice to the right of Tyson Peters. 40.1 seconds, as I said. Face off controlled by Yarmouth. Chip forward to the blue line and fired back in. Gathering up is Ben LeBlanc. LeBlanc uses the net. Gets it up to McPhee. McPhee gets to the blue line and just slowly puts it down. Wallace is going to chase it down. Gets there first. Avoids one check, chips forward, 
14 seconds, and Wallace is going to break down. One on two, doesn't have a man in front, doesn't see him. There's a shot, blocker save, as Wallace was going for the hat trick. Coming back the other way is McPhee. McPhee's just going to leg the puck, slap shot, and that one goes wide to end the game. Make the final, the Yarmouth Vikings six, the Parambaugh Sharks two. On behalf of all the volunteers behind the camera and behind the scenes, myself, David Doucette, we'd like to thank everyone for joining MC Media's coverage of the Valley High School Hockey League. We we'll hope you shall join MC Media streaming coverage in the near future as we're doing a bunch of games here this weekend from minor hockey to high school. Please join us again and thank you.